Hey, my name's Lamar Scholl. I think by now you know where I'm from. No, 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 not another planet. Not another planet. The good one, though. I'm from Direction 2 Success. Yeah, that's me right here. What, what you and I, we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about the importance of your DMO. I'm going to explain all that in a minute. But if you want to see more videos like this in marketing, subscribe to the Direction to Success channel. Also, if you get some value, hit that like button for me. Hey, maybe I made a mistake. You want to just say hi? Just chuckle. Like, just drop it down. Comment. Just anything. Question. Anything you want. Just drop a comment down below. So let's get going. I want to talk about the importance of a DMO, which is your daily method of operation. So let's talk about what it is first, and then we're going to get into why. And then I'm going to try to tell you like what I did to get to where I am now with my daily method of operations. But what is a DMO? Well, a DMO is simply a list of, well, nothing simple about it, I guess, but a list of your activities, your revenue producing activities for your business. This is going to help you treat your business like a business and not a hobby. So what do I mean by revenue producing activities? These are activities that you're going to do every day to help you generate income for your business so that it isn't a hobby. You're going to produce income for your business every day so that you can help other people with your business, right? Look, you don't want to keep cash the first thing on your mind, but hey, we all have bills to pay. It's a fact of life. Once you can get yourself in a good spot, you, you put yourself in a spot to help others out. And that's then that's what your business is all about. That's what's going to make your business grow. But we're not talking about that today. But so your activities are revenue producing. Okay, we're going to get into these in a minute. The, the activities, the list of them, that's simple, right? I could do a one minute video. I'm sure you'd probably appreciate that because that's what you want to hear. But this is the problem. You've got to set yourself up for success. That's 90% of it. And this is what I'm going to try to help you with in this video. Or I am going to help you with in this video. All right. So we've got these revenue producing activities. Don't worry about it if you're not quite sure what they all are. It's going to be perfectly clear here in a few minutes. Right now, why do I want to do a DMO so we know what it is? Now, why? Yeah, I don't know about you, but I'd like to know exactly why I'm doing something. Well, your DMO is going to keep you organized. It's going to help you stick to doing these tasks. Think of each of these tasks, even though you're going to do them each day. Think of each of these activities as a goal, right? So if you can do an activity, get it done, boom, you have completed your goal. Next one, completed another goal. So once you get in that idea, that mindset of setting a goal and achieving it, setting a goal and achieving it, what do you think that's going to do for this big one? This big goal that excites and scares you at the same time. Yeah, you're going to be working up there. Because right now I can look up to my goal. Beyond, I don't know how I get, I, I don't know. I don't know the steps to get there. But you know what? I know my daily method of operation, DMO, is one of those things that are going to help me get there. And I know with the help of others, I'll figure things out as I go along the way. I'm going to get there. But you got to get you got to get the mindset of setting a goal, achieving it, and that's that's kind of a side effect for the DMO. Right? It's not its main purpose, but the main purpose is to keep you efficient and use your time wisely. Because even though you do these activities every day, you would think, "Oh yeah, I know what to do. I got it." No, that's what I thought for the longest time, and I wasn't doing it. Because come the end of the day, I'm like, "Oh." forgot my email or something right there's always something you forget so and what I you know most people tell you grab a notepad start writing your activities down there they tell you what to write right and I, I did that at first you're gonna like my DMO the way I do it went through 
a whole bunch of renditions to where it is now. And that happened over a course of at least a year, maybe a more. So it wasn't like a week or a month thing. So I started on a notepad, but you know what? Five minutes later, kept looking around, could find it, you know, or it got buried. Or, you know, I started writing, but then I wanted another item to reorder it on the list. Yeah, you know. So then I'm like, okay, I got this. I'm going to put it in a document. So I just start typing away and it was cool so i put one item at that was at the bottom i put it up in the middle of my list right oh yeah what a computer's for so you can move things around i love this plus now i can read you know my chicken scratch hard to read document beautiful right beautiful so easy to read i can move things around i can read change things to make it more make more sense to me whatever it is in in this document I not only listed my revenue producing activities that I need to do every day, but I put a why next to each one of them in that document. Why am I doing this exact activity, right? So we know why we're doing the DMO, it's the bigger thing, right? But now I'm pulling that why into each one of them, because that helps my little brain to say, yeah, keep going. You know, like, why am I doing this? Oh. Because sometimes I get a little off kilter or just kind of forget. So I read that why again. Right? Then, so this was like another phase I went into. Like, okay, now everything's in that document. It's not in a notepad. I've got this thing lit. Then a couple days went by. Document. I never called that document up one time. I know where it is on my computer. I know how to find it. That's not the problem. It's just kind of out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. So I'm like, ah, I'll create a quick shortcut to my Windows desktop. Yeah, I got this lit. So I'll come in, I see the icon there on my desktop every morning, bloop, click on it, right? Pulls up the document. Then after a while, that, that icon wasn't standing out enough, right, on my desktop. Because I probably pulled up another window and then, of course, it got buried. Again, it's out of sight, out of mind. So I knew a DMO was absolutely important, but I had to find a way. See, I'm finding a way that's working for me, right? So I knew the notepad didn't work. The document's a little bit better because I like how I can organize it and add more to it, right? And then change it up a little bit. Cool, right? So then I, next phase, next change I went through, right? So like I said, this was over a course of a long time. This wasn't a week or a month. These could be six months, a year, right? I mean, trying to fit, you know, just slowly making changes because I was making it work for me. I knew it, this is an important, important thing. I had to do it. Next thing, I got a whiteboard sitting over here to my right. And I'm like, wow, okay, cool. So I didn't, I took all those items and just put like one liners right up there. Nothing, I didn't do all the why, because that's in the doc. I still kept a document for my why. So I went back to that, kept look at my why's when I need to be reminded. But I had like my list of items up on my whiteboard. Perfect. And the one over here to the right, that's the only way from this chair. If I go to the left, I smash in my printer and a wall. This is the only way out. So that means I have to stare at that whiteboard every time I get up from this chair. Perfect. Now it's always in front of me, smack in front of my face. This is perfect, right? All good. That was working for a while. Then all of a sudden, because I got used to seeing that same list without changing it day after day, right? My eyes weren't really drawn over there anymore. It wasn't drawing my attention over there. So I got from my chair and just went and like, hmm. and I said, what, I, what should I do next, right? So we're going to get into the purpose of the DMO here in a second. So I like took that whiteboard and you know what I started doing? After I was completing each item, I would put in a, a check mark, boom, 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 as I was doing them, right? Email, done, you know, video, done, right? Like, so that was good. So at the end of the day, I get up from this chair and I see my list of DMO, right, my items, and then next to them were check mark. Okay, I was missing some too, right? Nobody's perfect and this is gonna happen. But you, you go through. And then that was working. But then I was starting to lose a little love, like, why am I doing this one again? Right? So I kind of so that was one phase, which is getting better, right? See, we're tightening it up. We're getting this better. Now, this is something working for me. So now the next thing I did, like, okay, the check marks are good, but it's not really hitting up here. I, mean, I got a thick skull. It takes a while. Things got to be, got to get the repetition. Things got to hit it a bunch of times for anything, anything to pass through, right? So what I was doing, instead of the check marks, I kind of changed it up a little. 
So I actually wrote down exactly what I was doing. So if it was an email, I would write email next to it when I was done. If I had a video and I did that, I typed video next to it when I was done. So at the end of the day, I get up from that whiteboard and I look and yep, I got two columns with the same thing in it, right? So then I would take my dry eraser and erase that right column get clear you know get it clear for tomorrow morning see i'm already setting myself up see this is an important step i've set myself up for the next day you gotta think of these little things because if i walk by and just left those two columns yeah i give myself the thumbs up great but it had a little more meaning because yeah clear this off because i'm and now i'm writing myself for the next day all right these little steps are important. Not they know it'll come right, you know, like right away. You gotta build these things in. All right. So now this is the system where I finally got to, like I said, maybe a year later. Now, why did I go through all this? Well, one, when I was watching somebody talk about their daily method of operation and how why it's important, I said, I've got to get this. I gotta do this, right? I'm not gonna just say, oh, I I, I lose a notepad and use that for an excuse, right? That's not gonna help me get this done. I know a daily method of operation is gonna help me to what? My goal, my big goal, this goal that we want, right? And all those little whys that I've got for each of my revenue producing activities, we're gonna get into these right now, they all have a why attached to them. Like I told you, they're written in my document. All those little whys are congruent with my big gigantic why. So when I see all this stuff kind of going together, right? They're not fighting each other. They're locked together. I know I'm on the right path, right? So I spent all this time in this video and I haven't even given you a single item yet. Why is that? Like I said, I can list off the items real quick for you. And I'm going to do that here in a second. I'm not going to go quick, but I'll give them to you. Because what I just spent all this time with, this is the important part of the whole video, your, the whole thing for your success. I'm setting you up for your success with getting your DMO done because it is important. This helped me because now like when I was, you know, I was working, I'm not working right now with everything going on. I was able to get just as much done as I'm doing today. Now I'm getting more done because I'm back on my DMO again. It gives you this sense of urgency for getting these things done. Not in a panic way, but just in an organized way. A very satisfactory. You get so satisfied when I go up there and write down when I got my email written for the day and I type write down email on that whiteboard. And then at the end of the day, when I've got two columns that say the same thing and I take my white eraser and clean off that second column and get ready for the next day. You can't believe the energy, the positive energy that brings in my body, you know, brings in my body. And guess what? I'm taking that and I'm going to bed. Well, my body's going to be resting all night in this positive energy. There are so many benefits to doing this daily method of operation, but you got to make it mean something. All right. You're probably tired of hearing all this. Let's get down to what type of items. Now, I'm going to start out this way, and I hate doing it. So if you're the type of person that thinks you don't have much time with working on your business to help you towards your dream and goals, and you're saying, Lamar, what two items do I need to do every single day to help me in my business, to move further in my business so that I can make my millions, whatever your aspirations are, your goals? They are this, traffic. One, you run traffic every day. If you're just getting started and you know how to do it, do it. Start small, at least have leads trickling in your autoresponder every single day constant constant consistency is your key to your success so you just want to you'll build those up over time just get leads going number two you want to write an email to your email list every day not three times a week not four times a week every day two things traffic email now if you're just starting out and you don't know learn 
don't know either one of those yet, I'm going to say learn email first. You go buy an autoresponder. Go buy an autoresponder. They're 20 bucks a month for a small account. Just look at that 20 bucks. You're not going to have any subscribers in there. I get it. I, I get it. I've been around the block here with, with this. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. Look at that 20 bucks that you're spending at, for maybe the first month of learning your response as your education. You're paying, you're investing in yourself $20 to this autoresponder so you can learn it because this is a tool you are going to rely on very much so in your business. So that's the first thing. So if you're just starting out and you're learning, I know it sounds backwards because if you don't have traffic, you don't have the leads coming in. But trust me, this is something you're going to have to build up for. Like it's going to take you a couple weeks to learn or whatever. It's going to take you some time. You're not going to just watch it two or three videos and say, got it. But you got to take the action and learn. How are you going to do that? Go over to YouTube and search whatever autoresponder you got. If you got Aweber, I've got a Aweber playlist on my YouTube channel. Start there. I I, I break it all down. It, it's great. You could you'll be an Aweber expert. It's all free. I've done all those. So go over there and watch them. Subscribe too if you're going to do it. Subscribe to my channel. Next, start learning how to run traffic. Okay. Those leads are now going to come in once you start running traffic. Now that you've been working on, you already know how to get around your autoresponder, how to broadcast emails, how to write an AM email, PM email, tagging, segmenting, moving from list to list. If you don't know all that, go over to my, it's all free, you don't have to pay. Go over there, get Aweber. Aweber's good. Don't sit here and try to figure out which one. I'm telling you right now. Aweber's good, Get Response is good, Send Lane's good, Active Campaign's good, Conversion Pros, probably good. I, you know, I, I tried that one for a month. There's, there's, just, just pick one of those. Get, get Response, Aweber, if you're just starting out. Either one. They're both the same as far as difficulty and all that stuff. I, I had them both, so I know. I had them both. Just start somewhere. Look, if you want to know more about this, how to do all this stuff, click on the link down below. I'll be your sponsor. I'll be glad to help. I, I take you, I'll take you through. We're going to talk about a DMO in much more detail, email, traffic. You know, we'll, we'll learn all kinds of different traffic sources, not just one, not just two, not just, I mean, maybe 10. I don't know. There's a bunch, but we're not going to do them all at once. It's easy stuff. It, yeah. Just, just do it. My name's Lamar Scholl. I'm out.